Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now I literally, I don't even know how much battery I have, it's not gonna last long, but um, there's a picture that somebody sent to me and it was like 12 tips to speaking better. So I thought I would just go through them because I actually thought that these were good tips. These are about learning English, but I think they could be applied to any language that you're learning. Now I'm not gonna go through all of these because some of them I just think I haven't had experience with or I just am not too sure about in terms of you know how they actually work. So I'm gonna include the picture in here so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about and you know maybe you can relate to some and can implement some of that into your language learning routine so numero uno is record yourself speaking in english or whatever language it is and i think that's a really really good tip because sometimes if you're trying to practice a language and you're just speaking to yourself like in your own little head and your mind you don't always pick up on the mistakes that you might make or the way you might mispronounce certain words but when you actually hear the audio played back it's like oh my god like you're, you see it or you hear yourself a bit more objectively so you're like oh no i need to tweak i need to work on that so i think recording yourself in whatever language it is that you're learning is a really good tip to improving your pronunciation and also your speech pattern because once you pick up on the way native speakers of that language speak then you can try and apply that to yourself especially once you know what mistakes you're making number two read aloud especially dialogue and that really helps um I know like say when I do babble, they have a lot of times like the dialogues that you have to fill in the blanks but I also read the sentences aloud even after they've said it. Um, it actually really helps for you to flow in terms of fluency as well as you know reading is extremely fundamental and like working through the words and yeah spelling is obviously very very important. Number three is to sing along to English songs, whatever songs you want. That's a really really good tip and I know that I mean like I think three years ago I was really interested in learning Brazilian Portuguese. I still am interested in learning it's just in terms of time, I don't know. And I, that's something I still do. I listen to music of whatever language it is that you want to learn because also again with fluency with actually working through the words and once you hear them pronounce it in a cool hip way it helps you remember it as well and you know I don't know why it is but we can memorize like humans we just memorize songs so well like if we have a favorite song we know every word to that song if you just gave us a text that we had to memorize it would be a bit more difficult we would still get it done probably but the way that songs just kind of make things a bit more catchy they stay in your memory longer singing songs aloud really really helps with language learning number four watch short video clips and pause and repeat what you hear and that's something that i do a lot um on youtube whether it's i'm watching a youtuber and i just think that the way you know the way they phrased something was really cool and native speaker sounding i'm like oh my god that's cool and i pause and i repeat and repeat and repeat until i can say it without any problems up to this day i can still remember some lines from videos that i watched like even a few months ago even a few years ago that's very effective. Repetition is key. Consistency also, like every day, important. Collect short automatic responses and start using them. I don't know what exactly they want to say with that, so I'm just gonna kinda. Number eight, choose an accent you like and imitate it. Now, especially if you're learning English, there's so many different accents that you can try to imitate. You could try to do a Trinbagonian or whatever my accent is. For English, it's like British thing. British, British. There's British English and even in Britain, there are like so many different accents. There's Cockney, there's you know, you know what I mean? There's just so many different accents. If you're from Wales, if you're from you know, Scotland itself, if you don't have a Scottish accent, I can't do one. Um, Australia, and you know, all around the world, English is spoken. And, or if you're doing Italian, you know, they're different, you know, regions, and everybody has their own little dialect, little language almost. So it's really about, you know, feeling the language out for yourself. Or maybe finding a person, like if you find a YouTuber who you like, how they speak, or, you know, an actress or somebody, and watch their interviews, that could also help you with, you know, figuring out like ooh, what works for me and the way they pronounce certain things you know kind of fits me or i don't know however you feel most comfortable whichever accent you think is most appealing to you you pick and you follow listen and read along to poetry or rap songs like i'm not a big poetry fan that does help as well and that i think goes along with regular songs and just singing along repeating what you hear especially in that native flow because poetry is different for them just reading a blank text out to you you know poetry has a flow it has rhythm it has Something as well that makes you remember and makes it stick in your brain and becomes, you know, part of you. It comes more naturally to us, I think, than just reading dry text in a foreign language, you know? Learn exclamation words and fillers. I think fillers are extremely useful if you're truly trying to, like, speak this language. I know a lot of people might just be interested in learning a language, like the basics, and just, you know, fundamental so that they could at least get around if they happen to travel to that country or they have a friend who speaks that language like it's a cute gesture that's nice um, and filler words definitely help if you want to sound as authentic and as natural and native as you can um, and I think that does make an impression if you put in the effort to sound as native as you can that's definitely 
I think a bonus point. And number 12, like this order is all over the place. Um, learn how to paraphrase. So like if you see maybe a text or you if you heard somebody explaining a concept or a theory, you in turn change that around and try and like just paraphrase and summarize what it is that they said. And I think that also helps get your mind going and thinking in that other language, like trying to reformulate a sentence or a phrase that you heard can also be very helpful to you in you know, getting those new language juices flowing, you know what I'm saying? So that's pretty much it that I have for this little picture thing. I thought it was cool and I thought I would share that with you guys. Um, there's somebody who commented on my last video asking about, you know, if my accent, my Trinidadian accent had changed since I had moved to Germany or is it that I tried to tone it down for my videos and I definitely did I do tone it down especially in Germany where like if I'm speaking English the majority of people that I'm speaking to do not speak English as there is not their native language but they're still learning English so I don't want to like flood them with my dialect or my accent as if I was speaking to somebody from Tobago because I'm from Tobago. Trinidad and Tobago is one country, two islands, but the accents are a bit the accents are a bit different, like you could tell. And I think like I just have a kind of weird accent anyway because I mean I did, you know, have experience like abroad when I was younger too. Like you know when I lived in Germany and when I lived in England, when I first went to school in England, like it was only for a short period of time anyway. The only English I knew at like was nine um, was my Tobago English. And as soon as I opened my mouth and spoke to my new classmates, they were like, excuse me, pardon? Like nobody understood what I was saying. So from then I realized that crap, like the only way that I'm gonna, you know, be able to work with these kids is if I, you know, adjust my accent. And I'd always been a fan of like doing different accents with my dad, like, you know, imitating different actors and actresses. When I'm with people from Tobago, like it just comes out, it's just me, you know, that's just how I'm talking. And then if I'm speaking to somebody whose native language is not English, it wouldn't make much sense to like flood them with that accent if they can't even understand what I'm saying. Especially so for this YouTube channel, I think I just try to keep it as neutral as I can. I think without being too fake, although there's sometimes where I even myself hear like there's this like a American element and I'm like, where is that coming from? Sometimes people meet me and they're like, oh my god, are you American? And I'm like, no. And they're like, oh, you sound it. And I just don't even pick up on it, like especially if I'm in Germany or when I was working and stuff. But, like you know, people who are traveling would come and speak to me, and then, like somehow it would just be like this neutral, neutral English accent, and like people would be thrown like you're from the Caribbean, what, what? So yeah, but I just wanted to clear that up. So that was it for episode 13 of Vlog Temper. Nevertheless, <clears throat> I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I'll see you tomorrow for episode 14. So yeah, subscribe here or watch these two videos. Okay, have a good one. Love you. Bye. Bye.